Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to demonstrate how to do a table of contents and put it into two columns in Microsoft Word. Right now I have a one-page document and I've used Heading 1 styles. And if you're not sure how to use styles, please see my video on styles. That's a Heading 1. Shirts is a Heading 2. Shoes is a Heading 2. So let's go ahead and create our table of contents. You don't want to do a page break. You want to do a section break. So go to Page Layout and section break next page. So now this is section two. I'm going to go up top, click on page one, which is also section one, and put in the table of contents. It doesn't matter whether you use the first or second. After you put in the table of contents, okay, here's the problem now, is you want this to be two columns, but not table of contents. So I'm going to click in front of table of contents, and I'm going to go to another break, and I'm going to make this one continuous. I'm going to turn on Show Hide for just a second. You don't have to, but there's Show Hide. So now here's the only other dilemma we have is if you look up in my ruler bar at the six and a half inch mark is a right tab stop. So if I go to two columns, it's going to throw everything off the screen. So let's go ahead and select the table of contents, but not table of contents in the blue here. Go ahead and move this right tab stop. And I know I'm going to go two columns, but I want a little space between the columns, so I'm going to just put it right around two and a half. Go to Page Layout, click on Columns, and make it two columns. And I'm going to turn off Show Hide just to show you how this looks. And there is a table of contents in two columns in Microsoft Word. If you want to see other videos, please visit us at TrialityOnline.com.